And I want to visit with you about some of the research we've been doing looking at the calcium and phosphorus needs of not only nursery but grow finish pigs as well. One of the reasons we want to investigate the levels of calcium and phosphorus in the diet more, it's just like in human nutrition, where we ourselves need proper levels of calcium and phosphorus for our own bones, our own muscle development or maintenance, and for us to have longevity in our own human lives. The same, in fact, is for pigs. One of the things we've been looking at is how to improve the utilization of both calcium and phosphorus in the diets that we feed these pigs. One of the areas that we've been researching is the use of phytase. And phytase is a digestive en enzyme that pigs do not produce themselves. And because they don't produce this, they cannot digest and absorb the total amount of phosphorus that they're consuming in the diet themselves. In fact, the corn is only 14% available phosphorus, while soybean meal is only about 30%. Thus, what the pig isn't able to digest, they simply excrete through their manure, and then that gets applied then in the environment, which is a good renewable resource for fertilizer, but we want the pig to, to utilize that calcium and phosphorus to a higher degree. So we've been testing a number of different commercial feed additives of phytase to know how much phosphorus it can release. And so by putting it into the diet, the pig then has the ability to break down more of the phosphorus in the digestive system and absorb it and use it for its growth, feed efficiency, as well as its bone integrity. Another aspect we're currently researching is the effect of phosphorus in particular on the lameness of pigs. Just like any livestock or pet, they can become injured. And sometimes it's due to a natural cause, but sometimes it may be due to we're feeding levels that are either too low or even too high that interact with other nutrients that doesn't allow the pig to properly deposit that calcium and phosphorus in their body directly. So we have a large commercial survey going on with commercial operations looking at the status of the calcium and phosphorus levels of the bones of those pigs both in the nursery and in the finishing. Through this we're working with diagnostic labs across the Midwest to do the analysis and our goal is to establish new normal levels of calcium and phosphorus in bones for animals so they can be properly diagnosed if they were lame and or mortality or a different sickness. So to provide a summary of this overall information that we have available at our kswine.org website through our research reports as well as practical tools that producers can use to help with their phytase level uh, inclusions that are op to optimize in their diets.